butter. You know, what's the best thing to do? The first thing is to buy a house, buy a bigger one. All your stuff can be spread out. You know? The other one is to uh, rent storage. It's very popular as well. You need to move it out of your house. Uh, the third way is to organize your assets. Like you have to buy a organizer or a closet, but then uh, some way to organize all your things. So organization is a very powerful way of making things appear simpler because they're made of keyword. Um, and in this case, you know, I have developed a process called SLI page web. Um, it's a very simple process that where you um, take different items. This is, this is the case of uh, uh, sorting uh, different uh, text and making it simpler. And if you look historically speaking, uh, the idea of sorting has always been part of our uh, machine vocabulary. Uh, for instance, the typewriter. So again, uh, who knows who has used the actual tab, 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 tab. We use tab. Very important. The tab is like a magic simplifying key. Because something very complex becomes so much simpler so quickly. So I love the tab key. To me, it's a kind of simplifying key. It creates organization from a chaos. And if you look at Paolo uh, Antonelli, yesterday wrote the whole uh, Gestalt psychology uh, point about uh, 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 good design. Um, if you look at the, uh, one of the Gestalt principles of wholeness, um, if you look at how you know, 30 dots on the left and 30 dots on the right, um, we human beings cannot help but see this plum. You know, we, see, we see this as sort of one plum uh, because we just sort of function that way. And in essence, um, if you think of the eye a good example of how it just all changed over the years. For instance, in the first generation iPod, um, it had this roll wheel, uh, which was very tightly integrated. But for some reason, in the second generation, they made it uh, in, in this pattern. Perhaps it was a manufacturing issue, or maybe it was a design issue. Um, and then the third one, as you know, it really tightly integrated the iPod with this roll wheel now. But it makes sense that it's kind of like uh, these diagrams, where before it was tightly organized, broke it apart, became less popular. And in this version, they blurred things together. And if you were at the earlier panel, you saw Barack Obama kind of blurred them. Blurring is a great way to make things simpler. I always say, if you think it's too complex, just do this with your eyes. Everything is so much simpler. Okay? Try that out. Squish. It's always good. So the 30 become 8 uh, by the simple little field to sort of blur things. Um, and then, uh, an organization makes use of the menu of your viewer. That's the second law. In terms of the uh, third law, the law of time, uh, this is actually probably the most important law to have to like to stay out of time as much as possible. Uh, savings in time feel like simplicity. Um, uh, who likes to wait in line? <laughs> Maybe someone. I don't know. I don't like to wait in line, just like you. Uh, so whenever we save time in line, we put it great. Oh, it makes you think it's so much simpler for me. And, and, and in essence, when we think about string time and body, she, in the context of time, it also is very relevant. Um, in the case of the iPod shuffle, um, it, 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 it was, uh, the idea was to save time by you know, randomly shuffling your thumb. Okay, an example of string and time, by removing toys. An example of hiding time. Who's been to Las Vegas? Uh, I can ask that question. Uh, Las Vegas? Las Vegas? Las Vegas? Las Vegas? You go to the casino, there's no windows, there's no watches, no clocks, nothing. You know, they want you to stay there forever and spend money. Uh, because they've hidden time and money. And hiding time is a very powerful weapon because it's going to be in a sort of bad way. The third way is to embody time. Uh, I think if you look at the, the research the history of Apple Computer, uh, I think the, uh, the Bill Bucks knows a lot more about this than I do. Uh, but the idea of a scroll bar, before when you copy a file, when you said copy a file to your computer, uh, you just needed to wait. Maybe it goes in copy and maybe it's done. You never do. But the idea of having a display of how long it takes to show you the copy of file was kind of a good idea. Because before it was like this, it just happened. You know? And uh, a good uh, a computer scientist figured out a good UI design and thought that if I take time and I smoosh it across, it's the same amount of time. But if it's not shorter to us, because we can find it, feel the time. It's a very important principle of saving time. If you haven't saved time, in reality, if saving time is so hard, so in a sense, she in the case of time helps you create the illusion of saving time. The fourth law is the law of learning. And um, in the case of learning, uh, knowledge makes everything simpler. Uh, this is something that uh, some people aren't sure they agree with me on. Uh, but, uh, I believe that uh, a good example is the car. You know, who can drive? Who can drive? Who can drive? Okay, so we've been driving. 
Uh, the idea that uh, it's always important to be a little bit different. 